Hi, this is Aya Khalaf. I'm a holistic health coach and a detox specialist. Welcome to Be Nourish channel. When I ask my clients what they and their kids have for breakfast, the most common answer that I get is cereal or bread with cheese. And I'm sorry to say, but cereals are void of any nutritional value. They're highly processed foods that are full of sugar. <laughs> Having high sugar content in the morning will cause a very high spike in your blood sugar followed by a dip in the blood sugar. So one hour after you go to school or you go off to work, you're going to find yourself needing something else to rebalance the blood sugar and push it back up. So you're going to be craving another high carb fix or you're going to be craving caffeine. And that's really not the optimum scenario that we're looking for when we leave for work or school in the morning. And I know that your biggest worry is having to spend a lot of time in the morning because you're already you have to get yourself ready, you have to get the kids ready, and you have to prepare the lunch boxes, and you really don't have that much time for all the extra stuff. So I'm gonna cut it short and I'm gonna give you three quick, healthy, easy breakfasts that will sustain your energy levels, your appetite, and keep you full for a long time every single day. So option number one is a yogurt with granola, honey, and fruits. Of course, not all yogurt and granola are created equal. If you are someone who is avoiding dairy, then you can look at the cashew-based, um, coconut-based, or almond-based yogurts, but you need to still check the ingredients and make sure it doesn't have added sugar and it doesn't have added preservatives. I personally make my granola at home, and you can find the recipe in the link above. I make it um, seed-based, so it's mostly based on seeds. It doesn't have any grains, and so it, it's very low on the carb content, and very high on the protein and fat content. So it's gonna balance your blood sugar and keep you full for a long time. Another option is there's a brand that I get from Amazon and you're gonna find the link in the description below. And it's also based on seeds and nuts and then it's sugar-free. So that's another option if you don't have time to make your own granola. And then I slice some bananas or any fruit that you like, maybe berries if that's your favorite thing or some mangoes. I top it up with some raw honey if you want an extra sweetness and then you're ready to go. Easy peasy, just a few minutes in the morning, everyone loves it, kids friendly, give it a try. Option number two might seem a little bit weird, you might not have heard that term before, but it's sour gum. Sour gum is actually an ancient grain that has been used for hundreds of years. I always start by soaking my grains or beans because Grains and beans have um, outer compounds that are actually hard on our digestive system. So by soaking them, you actually remove most of those compounds that make it hard to digest and that cause the gases and blotting. So I always soak my grains overnight. And one of the tips that I do is Sunday night, I do all my soaking. So I get out a few pans, I soak my quinoa, my sour gum, my lentils, and any beans or grains that I'll be doing throughout the week. I leave them to soak the next morning. I wash them, I drain them, I put um, new clean water. And then I leave them to cook and then put them in glass boxes and store them in the fridge. That can make it easy peasy for you during the week to get out these grains and beans and lentils and use them in your dishes as you go. Now I usually have sour gum as a worm cereal in the morning. I would pour some almond milk on it and a little bit of ground vanilla beans. Sometimes I would add cinnamon and then sweeten it with some honey. If you want fruits, if you want some nuts, if you want even some crunchy granola on top, you know the ways that you can get it this to your taste are endless so just experiment around with how you like it. This meal has some carbs in it so it's gonna satisfy those carby cravings but it's also higher in fiber and in protein and it doesn't affect your blood sugar so much so it's going to keep you full for a long time and if you use something that has a lot of fat like coconut milk it's also going to sustain your hunger levels for a longer time So make sure that you soak your grains and your lentils overnight, throw the water out, put new water, make sure that you wash it very well and then cook it and then put it in the box and put it in your fridge. Lentil salad is so simple. I just season it with lemon, salt, cumin, olive oil. And I top it off with avocado. 
And again, lentils are so high in protein and fiber that they are guaranteed to keep you full for long hours in the morning. They're also going to keep your cravings down because there will not be spikes and dips in your blood sugar in the morning. And then when you add the avocado, you're also adding the component of fat, which will make you stay full for even a longer time. So I hope that that sounds simple enough for you to do and try. All of these recipes are kids friendly. Yes, you're gonna have to take things gradually and step by step. If your kids were used to having Cheerios for breakfast, offering them sour gum suddenly is gonna be kind of a shock. You kind of have to take it step by step until the kids get used to that new bland taste compared to the high sugar cereals they were used to. But if you stay consistent and you keep trying step by step, your kids will eventually get used to the new taste. So if this has inspired you that you too can have a healthy breakfast without spending hours in the kitchen in the morning, please leave me a feedback and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm planning for more and more recipes and ideas to come. Thank you and bye bye.